All right, so welcome back, guys. We are talking about um, our Facebook group setup for um, making sure we are filling it with people that matter most to you and your business. And we want to talk about, um, or let's talk about the things we covered already. Creating your Facebook group was step one. Step two was um, setting it up. All right, making sure all your settings are good. Step three is what we're covering today. And this is all about pre-filling some of that content that should be in there. So you don't want to invite people and have nothing to show. Okay, so we are going to do a little bit of pre-filling today. So here's our group, Get the group cover up. And what we want to do is just close that. Um, we want to see if we can fill it with some content. So the first thing um, you want to do is if you have your own content, great. This is obviously the best possible way. So if you have your own content, drop it in there. And the way you can do it is you can do it in a couple different ways. You have um, pre-recorded content. So for example, if you have anything uploaded to YouTube, simply grab the link, um, drop it in a Facebook group post, good to go. If you are um, you know, having it on your computer, simply upload it, put a couple lines on there, post it, ready. But what if you don't have your own? Um, let's see. So type in your city. And most cities have a business association. So this one is always a good one to start. So this one here is an events calendar, okay? So, oh, I'm sorry guys. So this one is for March, for example. This March is crazy. Um, so there's a lot of cancellations going on. But what you want to look for is for grand openings, for example. Um, seeing if there's anything in your area, your zip code that you are reporting on, is having anything happen. So this one, for example, I know that this event here is a new store um, and they're having a ribbon cutting grand opening. Okay, there's a nice little picture. April 17th, ribbon cutting, and then it's in my preferred zip code. So this would be something that I would grab, for example. So I would make sure I'll get the picture and then I'll just, um, you know, assemble the post. So the post, Mary did this one. I kind of jumped the gun here. Um, oops. The post I put together here. Simply posted it, ribbon cutting slash grand opening for the bike shop. Preferably you would like to tag them, okay? I did link the Facebook page on here, just some grand opening. I got this one from their about me page. Um, so this is one way to get content. Well, that's actually the second way. So the first one is your own content, best possible way. Multiple sources you get it from. The second one, is from your business association, chamber of commerce, um, any ribbon cutting, any new you know stores coming, and then another way to source for some content is to type in your zip code and see what comes up with that. Okay, so we want to see if there's anything in there. So those are three ways for you to fill your group with content. I hope it helped. And if you have any other questions, um, feel free to let me know in the comments below and I will catch you on step four.